Born in 1922, Dick Martin was raised in a hard-working family in Washington, D.C. His father, a postal worker, and his mother, a homemaker, instilled in him the value of perseverance and dedication. As a child, he developed a love for comedy and entertainment, often entertaining his family and friends with impersonations and humorous skits. Martin's first exposure to the world of entertainment came in the form of vaudeville shows, which he attended with his family. These shows sparked his interest in comedy and performance, and he began to dream of a career in entertainment. During his high school years, Martin formed a comedy duo with a friend, and they began performing at local venues. Their act caught the attention of a talent scout, who offered them a spot on a popular radio show. This opportunity allowed Martin to hone his comedic skills and gain valuable experience in the entertainment industry. Throughout his career, Martin was influenced by several key figures in the world of comedy. He often cited the Marx Brothers and Charlie Chaplin as major influences, admiring their ability to create humor through physical comedy and timing. Additionally, he was inspired by the work of comedians such as Bob Hope and Jack Benny, who were known for their quick wit and sharp humor. One of Martin's most significant mentors was Sid Caesar, a legendary comedian and television star. Caesar took Martin under his wing and taught him the ins and outs of comedy writing and performance. Martin credited Caesar with helping him develop his comedic style and approach to entertainment. In the 1960s, Martin's career reached new heights when he became the co-host of the popular variety show Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In. The show became a cultural phenomenon and Martin's comedic timing and delivery helped establish him as a household name. Despite his success, Martin remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He continued to work in the entertainment industry for several decades, appearing in films, television shows, and stage productions. His legacy as a comedian and director continues to inspire and influence new generations of performers and audiences alike. Director Dick Martin is known for his work on classic shows and films. You might know him from The Dick Van Dyke Show or Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In. Think about Director Martin's many legendary works. Which one do you believe defined his career? Was it a show that made you laugh out loud or a film that touched your heart? Do you have a favorite work of Director Martin's? Maybe it's the hilarious sketches on Laugh-In or the timeless humor of The Dick Van Dyke Show. We would love to hear your stories and memories related to this classic star. As we dive into this topic, we'll share many funny, shocking, and sad facts about Director Martin's life and career. So keep watching this video to learn more. So, which work of Director Dick Martin do you hold closest to your heart? Share your memories and stories in the comments below. Ever since Director Martin was a young boy, he was drawn to the magic of movies. He would spend hours watching films, captivated by the stories they told and the emotions they evoked. This early exposure to cinema sparked a lifelong passion for storytelling through film. As a teenager, director Martin got his first taste of filmmaking when he and his friends made a short film for a school project. They wrote, directed, and starred in the film themselves, and the experience ignited a fire within him. He knew then that he wanted to spend his life creating movies that would inspire and entertain audiences. After high school, director Martin attended film school, where he honed his craft and learned the technical skills necessary to bring his visions to life. He worked tirelessly on his films, pouring his heart and soul into each project. His dedication paid off when one of his films won a student filmmaking competition, validating his dreams and driving him to pursue a career in filmmaking. Throughout his career, director Martin has remained passionate about his work, always striving to tell compelling stories and push the boundaries of filmmaking. His dedication to his craft has earned him critical acclaim and a devoted following of fans who appreciate his unique vision and storytelling style. Richard Martin was born on January 30, 1922, in Battle Creek, Michigan. From an early age, he showed a keen interest in entertainment and comedy. After serving in the Army during World War II, he pursued a career in show business. Martin's big break came in the 1950s when he began working as a writer and director for several television shows. He worked on popular programs such as The Martha Ray Show and The Betty Hutton Show. Martin's comedic timing and creative vision quickly gained attention in the industry. In the 1960s, Martin co-created and co-hosted the groundbreaking comedy variety show Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In. The show was a massive success and ran for six seasons, launching Martin's career to new heights. He became known for his quick wit, physical comedy, and ability to work seamlessly with his co-host and the show's guests. Martin's early life experiences and work in television shaped his career as a director. 
He developed a unique comedic style that blended slapstick humor with clever wordplay. His ability to work well with others and his innovative approach to comedy made him a valuable asset in the entertainment industry. Throughout his career, Martin directed numerous television shows and films, including The Odd Couple, The Bob Newhart Show, and Three's Company. He was also a frequent guest star on various programs, cementing his status as a beloved figure in the world of comedy. In conclusion, Richard Martin's early life experiences and work in television laid the foundation for his successful career as a director. His comedic style and innovative approach to comedy have left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. In the early years, the director faced financial struggles that threatened to derail their vision. With a limited budget, they had to get creative, often working with small teams and tight schedules. However, these constraints only fueled their determination and creativity. The film industry was also skeptical of the director's innovative approach. They faced rejection and criticism from established studios and producers, but instead of giving up, the director used this skepticism as motivation to push boundaries and prove the naysayers wrong. To overcome these obstacles, the director turned to unconventional methods. They sought out alternative funding sources and formed partnerships with like-minded individuals. They also embraced new technologies and techniques, incorporating them into their work to create a unique style that set them apart from their peers. Despite the challenges, the director remained resilient and dedicated to their craft. They refused to let financial struggles or industry skepticism stand in the way of their vision. Through their determination and creativity, they were able to overcome these hurdles and create a lasting impact on the film industry. Director Martin had to cope with health issues from an early age, having lost the use of one of his lungs due to tuberculosis as a teenager. This condition led him to rely on bottled oxygen for the rest of his life. Despite this setback, Martin's career in show business took off when he made his debut as Baby Stanley's holder at christening in the film Father's Little Dividend. His comedic talent was evident even then, and it would soon be recognized by a wider audience. One notable aspect of Martin's career was his work on game shows. During the later years of Match Game, he would often tape five episodes in a single day. To save time, he would sometimes wear the same clothes for all five episodes, giving the appearance that he wore the same outfit every day he appeared on the show. These cost-saving measures did not detract from the enjoyment of the show. However, as Martin's quick wit and comedic timing remained the main draw for viewers, his ability to think on his feet and come up with humorous responses to the show's prompts made him a beloved figure in the world of game shows. After years of honing his craft in television, director Dick Martin experienced a breakthrough moment in 1967 with the debut of the groundbreaking comedy show Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In. The fast-paced, sketch-based format was a significant departure from traditional comedy shows and quickly gained critical acclaim. Collaborator and co-star Dan Rowan praised Martin's innovative direction, stating, Dick had a unique ability to bring out the best in his performers and create a truly electric atmosphere on set. The show's quick-witted humor and memorable characters resonated with audiences, earning it several Emmy Awards and cementing Martin's status as a trailblazer in television comedy. In addition to his work on Laugh-In, Martin also directed numerous successful variety shows and specials throughout his career. Peers and critics alike admired his ability to balance humor, spectacle, and star power in these productions. As critic Jack Gould noted, Martin's direction is always assured, never overbearing, and allows the performers to shine. One of Martin's most notable projects was the 1976 television special The Dean Martin Celebrity Roast Bob Hope, which featured a star-studded lineup of celebrities paying tribute to the legendary comedian. The special was a critical and commercial success with the New York Times praising Martin's deft touch and impeccable timing. Throughout his career, Martin's work consistently pushed the boundaries of comedy and entertainment. His breakthrough projects not only earned him recognition from his peers and critics, but also left an indelible mark on the television landscape. As collaborator and comedian Jonathan Winters put it, Dick Martin was a true innovator, and his work will continue to resonate with audiences for years to come. After forming the successful comedy team of Rowan and Martin, Dick Martin went on to host the popular 1960s television show, Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In. The show featured a segment called The Cocktail Party, which often included uncredited appearances by Playboy centerfold models, among them Janice Pennington. These models typically appeared as dancers or the subjects of Dick Martin's stereotypical advances. 
In a case of art imitating life, Dick Martin married, and later divorced Playboy playmate Dolly Reed. He then remarried her, tying the knot once again in 1975. Together, Dick Martin and Dan Rowan left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Their contributions were recognized with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, located at 7080 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, California. This honor is a testament to their enduring impact on television and comedy as a whole. The director, Dick Martin, is known for his unique approach to comedy and television. Growing up during the Great Depression, he developed a keen sense of humor as a way to cope with difficult times. This sensibility would later inform his work in the entertainment industry. Martin began his career as a stand-up comedian, performing in clubs and on television shows. He eventually transitioned into directing, bringing his comedic timing and visual style to the small screen. His work on shows like Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In and the Sunny and Sheer Comedy Hour helped to define the aesthetic of 1960s and 70s television. One of the key elements of Martin's style is his use of physical comedy and visual gags. He often incorporated props and set pieces into his sketches, using them to create unexpected and humorous moments. This approach was influenced by his love of classic silent films, particularly the work of Buster Keaton and Charlie Chaplin. Martin's personal experiences and worldview are also reflected in his work. He was known for his inclusivity and willingness to take risks, often featuring diverse casts and pushing the boundaries of what was considered acceptable on television at the time. His commitment to breaking down barriers and challenging the status quo can be seen in many of his shows and sketches. Despite his success, Martin remained humble and dedicated to his craft throughout his career. He continued to work in television and film well into his later years, always striving to create entertaining and thought-provoking content. His legacy as a director and comedian continues to inspire and influence artists today. Director Dick Martin faced numerous challenges in his personal relationships and career. In his early life, he served in the military during World War II, which had a profound impact on him. Later, he struggled to find work in the entertainment industry, facing rejection and setbacks. Despite these challenges, Martin persevered and eventually found success as a director. However, his personal relationships remained complicated. He was married three times, with his marriages ending in divorce. Martin also faced estrangement from some of his children. In addition to his personal struggles, Martin faced criticism and controversy throughout his career. Some of his work was criticized for being too risque or controversial, and he faced backlash from conservative groups. However, he remained committed to his artistic vision and continued to push boundaries in the entertainment industry. Despite these challenges, Martin left behind a lasting legacy in the world of television and film. He was known for his unique comedic style and his ability to bring out the best in his actors. His work continues to be celebrated and enjoyed by audiences around the world. Throughout his life, Martin faced many struggles and challenges, both in his personal relationships and in his career. However, he remained committed to his passions and continued to push boundaries, leaving behind a lasting legacy in the entertainment industry. Director Dick Martin, known for his work on Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, made significant contributions to the television industry. He co-created and directed this groundbreaking show, which premiered in 1968 and became an instant hit. Martin's innovative approach to comedy, incorporating quick-cut sketches, visual gags, and a diverse cast, set new trends in television comedy. His influence can be seen in modern sketch shows like Saturday Night Live and Inside Amy Schumer. According to industry expert Robert Thompson, professor of television and popular culture at Syracuse University, Dick Martin's work on Laugh-In helped to redefine the very concept of comedy on television. His impact is still felt today. Comedian Amy Poehler, who was inspired by Martin's work, said, Watching Laugh-In as a kid, I was struck by how fast-paced and fearless the comedy was. It was a show that wasn't afraid to take risks, and that's something I've always tried to carry with me in my own work. Martin's influence extended beyond comedy, with his innovative use of editing techniques and visual storytelling. His quick cuts and use of split screens were revolutionary at the time and have since become standard practices in television and film. In addition, Martin was known for his commitment to diversity and inclusion. Laugh-In featured a diverse cast of comedians, including African-American, Asian-American, and female performers, at a time when such representation was rare on television. As actress Goldie Hawn, who got her start on Laugh-In, said Dick Martin was a champion of diversity and inclusion. 
He saw the value in having a cast that reflected the world we lived in, and he gave opportunities to so many talented performers who might not have had a chance otherwise. In conclusion, Dick Martin's contributions to the television industry were numerous and far-reaching. His innovative approach to comedy, commitment to diversity and inclusion, and groundbreaking use of editing techniques have left a lasting impact on the industry and continue to influence trends and techniques today. The director is known as the father of Richard Martin, his son from his first wife, Peggy Connolly. He is best remembered by the public for his work with Dan Rowan on the comedy show Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In. His contributions to the film industry extend beyond that, as he is also the father-in-law of Kim Steer. His work continues to be celebrated and remembered by audiences today. Outside of his professional life, the director, Dick Martin, had a rich personal life that informed his work. He was a family man, and his wife and children often accompanied him on set. Martin believed in creating a positive and inclusive work environment, which he attributed to his upbringing in a close-knit family. Martin was also an animal lover, and had a soft spot for rescue dogs. He often featured his dogs in his shows and used his platform to raise awareness about animal welfare. Martin's love for animals extended beyond his personal life and he made significant contributions to animal charities and organizations. The director was passionate about education and believed that everyone should have access to quality education. He worked with several schools and educational institutions to promote literacy and provide resources for underprivileged students. Martin's philanthropic efforts also included supporting medical research and healthcare initiatives. Martin's personal values and interests were deeply intertwined with his work. His shows often featured social commentary and tackled issues such as racism, sexism, and social inequality. Martin believed in using his platform to make a positive impact on society and often used humor as a tool for social change. In addition to his work in television, Martin was also an accomplished author and wrote several books on comedy and humor. He believed that humor was a powerful tool for bringing people together and promoting understanding and empathy. Despite his success, Martin remained humble and down to earth. He was known for his kindness and generosity and was deeply respected and admired by his colleagues and peers. Martin's legacy continues to inspire and influence generations of comedians, writers, and directors. Not many people know that the director of the classic comedy show Laugh-In, born only 13 days after Betty White, had a fascinating life full of accomplishments. The director, known for his impeccable comedic timing and innovative approach to television, was a significant contributor to the entertainment industry. The director's career spanned over five decades, and he left an indelible mark on the world of television. He began his career as a writer and performer on several variety shows, including The Steve Allen Show and The Tonight Show with Jack Parr. In the late 1960s, the director created and produced Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, a groundbreaking comedy show that featured a rapid-fire succession of sketches, one-liners, and visual gags. The show was an instant hit and became a cultural phenomenon, attracting millions of viewers and winning numerous awards. The director's innovative approach to television comedy was not limited to Laugh-In. He also directed and produced several other successful shows, including The Dean Martin Show and The Gold Diggers. His ability to work with a diverse range of talent, from comedy legends like Dean Martin and Jonathan Winters to up-and-coming stars like Goldie Hawn and Lily Tomlin, was a testament to his skill and versatility. Despite his many accomplishments, the director remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He was known for his collaborative spirit and his ability to create a positive and supportive work environment. His contributions to the entertainment industry continue to be celebrated and appreciated by audiences and industry professionals alike. In conclusion, the director's life and career were a true testament to his talent, creativity, and dedication to the world of television. His impact on the entertainment industry and his contributions to the world of comedy will be remembered and cherished for generations to come. Dick Martin, a legendary director, has left an indelible mark on the industry. Known for his unique storytelling and innovative approach, he has inspired countless aspiring professionals. The director's work has always been characterized by a deep understanding of human emotions and an ability to bring stories to life in a way that resonates with audiences. His contributions to film and television have transcended generations and continue to captivate viewers. When it comes to giving advice to those looking to follow in his footsteps, the director emphasizes the importance of hard work, dedication, and a willingness to take risks. 
He encourages aspiring professionals to constantly hone their craft, stay true to their vision, and never be afraid to push boundaries. According to him, the most important thing is to always be learning and growing as an artist. Never stop experimenting and taking risks, even if it means failing. It's through failure that we often learn our most valuable lessons. The director also stresses the importance of collaboration and building relationships within the industry. Filmmaking is a team sport, he says. Surround yourself with talented people who share your passion and vision and be open to their ideas and input. Some of my greatest accomplishments have come from working with other creative minds. Finally, the director encourages aspiring professionals to stay true to themselves and their artistic vision. Don't try to be someone else or follow trends, he says. Create work that is authentic to you and your experiences. That's where true art lies. In terms of his own future contributions, the director remains committed to pushing the boundaries of storytelling and exploring new ways to engage audiences. I'm always looking for new challenges and opportunities to grow as an artist, he says. Whether it's through film, television, or other mediums, I'm excited to continue telling stories that inspire and captivate audiences for years to come. Director Martin, known for his work on Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, faced a tragic loss in his personal life. His daughter, Bonnie Martin, passed away at the young age of 17 in a car accident in 1987. The loss had a profound impact on the director, and he often spoke about how difficult it was to cope with her death. In an interview, he shared, there's not a day that goes by that I don't think about her. This tragic event serves as a stark reminder of the fragility of life and the deep bond between parents and their children. After birth in 1922, director's passion for entertainment took flight. In the 50s, he directed live TV, a daring innovation. His work on Rowan and Martin's laugh and brought a new level of humor to television, enduringly impacting the industry. The director's innovative spirit didn't stop at comedy. He also ventured into drama, shaping captivating narratives. His dedication to storytelling was evident in every project he touched, leaving a powerful mark on the entertainment landscape. Throughout his career, the director faced challenges with perseverance. He embraced creativity, turning obstacles into opportunities. This approach not only led to the success of Laugh-In but also paved the way for future comedians and directors. In the end, it was the director's passion and creativity that made him a trailblazer. His work serves as a reminder of the power of artistic expression and the importance of staying true to one's vision. The legacy of this innovative director continues to resonate inspiring new generations to explore their own creativity. As we reflect on the work of director Dick Martin, many of us remember his impact on the entertainment industry. His innovative approach to comedy and storytelling left a lasting impression on both audiences and his peers. The director's career spanned over four decades, during which he worked on various projects, from television shows to films. He was known for his unique comedic style, often blending slapstick humor with witty dialogue. One of his most notable works is the television show Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, which gained immense popularity in the late 1960s and early 1970s. The show's fast-paced, anything-goes humor was a significant departure from traditional comedy at the time, and it resonated with audiences. Beyond his work in comedy, the director also made significant contributions to the world of music. He produced several music specials, including The Andy Williams Show and The Sunny and Cher Comedy Hour, these shows featured some of the biggest musical acts of the time and helped to launch the careers of many artists. As we look back on the director's legacy, it's clear that his work has left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. His innovative approach to comedy and music helped to shape the entertainment landscape and inspire future generations of artists. So, what are your thoughts on the work and legacy of Dick Martin? Share your memories and reflections in the comments below. And don't forget to like and share this post to help us celebrate the creative spirits shaping entertainment. Let's keep the conversation going and explore the enduring impact of this remarkable direction.